Let's listen in if we can. What can you tell us about what happened here? We received uh, multiple calls of a, a residential structure on fire about 546 this morning uh, when our crews arrived on the scene, heavy fire visible throughout the structure. Uh, initially, uh, we attacked the fire on the inside. It quickly spread throughout the structure. This is a four-story structure. Does not appear at this time that any residents or any workers are on the scene. Uh, we have evacuated the building. We are fighting this fire from the exterior. Uh, we went defensive. Uh, we have approximately three area trucks. That's our large area trucks uh, raised. Uh, we are uh, admitting large volumes of water in this structure in an attempt to bring it under control. We've been on, on this scene approximately one hour and 15 minutes. Uh, it have not been under control at this time, but it is confined to one building. Did it ever catch other buildings on fire? No building, no additional buildings at this time. We are covering exposure, attempting to keep this fire from sp uh, spreading. And now have you guys... Ex uh, we reposition. We're repositioning to attack uh, from a, another vantage point. Yes. So when at one point it said crews were evacuated from this area, have crews been evacuated for now or are you guys just switching uh, locations to attack this fire? We went from a offensive mode from attacking on the inside to defensive. Uh, there was collapse on uh, several walls in the building for the safety of our firefighters. Uh, we brought them outside. We're still trying to determine that MLG and W is on the scene, locating the source of that. If it is, they will uh, cut that power. Can you tell me anything about this project? What was being planned here? What was in the making? It appears to be residential structures. I have not visibly uh, visited this site, but it appears to be residential high rises. Can you tell me about the resources to fight the fire here? I know you have several areas uh, blocked off, so getting around is certainly difficult. But uh, what kind of resources are you using now to fight this? At this point, we this is a third alarm fire. We have approximately 43 pieces of fire EMS rescue apparatus, 113 rescue uh, responding personnel. Would this be one of the biggest ones compared to the Several years ago. This is a large fire. That church fire was a large fire, too. I do not have those figures with me, but I will get that information to you. Yeah, I've seen uh, the, the hose now kind of behind us uh, starting up again. Uh, so, you know, does that mean crews are, are set, um, you know, in, in the positions that they need to be now and, and they'll continue to fight this fire and get it under control? Yes, when we're on the scene, we're constantly assessing the scene to make sure that it's properly mitigated. If there is a need for our companies to reposition it, for us to send in additional companies, we will do that. We do also have several hand lines laid as well. Kind of walk me through what you see happening here right now. Anything that sticks out in your mind as far as where the flames are centered, where you see most of the flames uh, 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 erupting right now. If you notice, it's well involved. Uh, flames have uh, spread throughout the structure. It is confined to that one unit, and that's our efforts to make sure that it, it stay confined to that unit. Uh, wind can be a factor, so we're covering exposures. We do have additional lines set up on uh, the adjacent structures, attempting to keep it from spreading. What's been the hardest thing about fighting this fire? Well, the additional resources. We call resources from all over the city. 43 uh, emergency response uh, equipment is here, so that's a large volume of personnel. But we want to make sure that our firefighters are safe uh, in the event that they need to be rehabbed, they need rest, uh, need water. We check their vital signs to make sure to ensure that they are able to continue on this fire. So we do have additional uh, firefighters on the scene. When you say you're trying to contain it to just the one unit, does that mean the one building? That is correct. That is correct. Lieutenant, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. All right, Kaylin, you're just.